my, my name is Oscar Bejarano, and I'll be talking briefly about uh, the Renew project, which consists of uh, developing an open source mass and mind platform, the uh, whole system. And specifically, the objective is to build a reconfigurable end-to-end -end software platform uh, that is targeting uh, mass and mind specifically. So the Powder team has already deployed uh, three massive MIMO base stations at the University of uh, Utah campus. And here uh, on the picture on the right, we can see one of them. And it consists, uh, this base station consists of a very uh, modular design, right? Where you have uh, multiple uh, radio, remote radio heads uh, that are stacked on top of each other. And if you were to take one of those and open it up, um, you would see that uh, we have multiple SDR boards inside each of them. Uh, and they're all the daisy chain, these are SVR boards. And essentially uh, the bus that they share is used for forwarding data, clock and power. And each one of these boards is, uh, is actually has uh, two by two uh, MIMO capabilities and they operate in the CBRS band, at least in powder, that's the band that we're operating at. Um, so, and now the renew, the, in general, the renew framework consists on three, three aspects. One is the Agora system, which is uh, essentially a software-based real-time uh, massive MIMO physical layer processing for both uplink and downlink. We also have what we call Renew Lab, which is an over-the-air sample collection and rapid five prototyping. And we're also focused a lot on data sets. So we're trying to produce as many data sets as we can. So we have students and our own engineers working on this. And you can access our website, you can see some of those data sets that we're already collecting. Now, today I'm just gonna focus a bit more on the Renew Lab side of things, uh, which is, like I said, the over-the-air sample collection and protopass prototyping. And uh, in terms of prototyping, so we're talking about, we kind of uh, described this as a hardware and the wireless channel in the loop. And what it allows you to do is to construct signals on both Python and MATLAB. And then you can just trigger an over the air transmission and reception. Uh, they operate in CISO, um, you know, in, in CISO mode. We also have uplink massive MIMO. And currently we're working on uh, downlink massive MIMO as well. Now, the sounder, which is some, what I'm going to focus on, uh, is uh, this software based over the air uh, measurement system that allows you to collect real time channel measurements in both uplink and downlink. And then you can take those uh, those channel traces and uh, whatever data you collected and post process it using some of our Python libraries. Now, I'm going to show you a quick demo. Essentially, in the demo, uh, we collected some data. It's a video, actually, uh, that I uh, of a run of this sounder, that tool that essentially. Uh, what it did was to um, use the, the setup that we have at Powder. Right now we have uh, an anechoic chamber and we have the massive MIMO system there and two UEs, okay? So in the first step, essentially what's gonna happen is that the base station is gonna send a, a beacon that is gonna synchronize the different users. And on the, uh, the second step, each one of these UEs is gonna be sending back, sorry. Each one of these UEs is going to be sending back uh, some pilots, transmitting pilots on different uh, time slots so that you know they don't interfere with each other. And we're, that's how we're going to be collecting some of the data. Now, really quick, let me run this. So essentially what's going to happen is we're going to provide a JSON file that has all the configuration. Okay, You can see here uh, we're defining a topology file. Uh, the frequency and other parameters. We have a schedule uh, that determines essentially it's a TDD schedule that says who's going to uh, transmit what and when. Uh, so if it's pilots, like you can see here, or if it's data, uh, user defined data, and you know the number of frames that you're going to be transmitting and many other parameters, right? Now, the second thing that we're going to look at is another JSON file where we show the topology file. Uh, or the topology we're using. And we essentially identify each one of the SDRs that we're gonna be using at the race station and at the UEs. Uh, so we have the serial numbers. We're just gonna use this here. And now we're just gonna run it. All right, it's gonna start. Eventually we'll see that um, uh, beacons were detected by each one of the uh, UEs. Um, I'm highlighting that right here. So there's one beacon, there's another beacon that has been detected. This means that they were triggered, the UEs, and they started sending back some of their pilots. Now, this is gonna generate a, a log file. It's an HDFI format file, essentially. And now we're gonna take this file and we're gonna process it, post-process it using 
uh, one of our uh, Python scripts. Um, so this right here, we're just gonna replace what I had before. And, and that's it. So this is, it takes a little bit of some time. So I'm just gonna fast forward um, right here. So essentially it shows, spits out the number of good frames that it receives. Uh, some of the processing that we do determine what uh, the number of bad frames, good frames, uh, or partially good or corrupt frames. And the next step essentially is gonna throw, uh, you're gonna see some of the plots that it generates. Uh, there's so many things, so many metrics that we look at. Um, and of course the users are able to modify this to see whatever information they wanna get. Um, and that's it. I mean, if you have any questions, um, you can reach out to us and we can show you how, how else you can use this, this system for any experiments. Um, yeah, I guess you're gonna get all the information on how to contact us. And that's it.